Well played, Sean. On the score sheet, but ultimately a 3-2 defeat. A bit frustrated, ultimately? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, we didn't start the game very well and obviously went 2-0 behind and showed good character to get it back to 2-all um, before our time. But uh, I think we just ran out of legs a bit towards the end and, and they got they got the goal. It could have been us, but it just wasn't to be. Did you fancy your chances of turning it around at, at half-time, going in 2-2 and going on to, to win the game? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Um, especially getting back into it before half-time. Um, it was a bit of a surprise, but but yeah, it was it was a fairly even game. I think a draw would have been a fair result, but it wasn't to be, like I said. Two good goals for, for Shrewsbury. You got the first, of course. Talk us through that one. Yeah, I just I was on the left and... I just wanted Gossie to play it and knew what I knew what I was going to do before he even done it. So it was a it was a nice goal. Yeah, it was good to get um, a goal on the last game of the season. Um, yeah, I was I was delighted and I was made up for Dan as well to get his goal. Yeah, it was good. Takes you up to nine for the season. You're the top scorer as well, Sean. So that must be a, a nice little achievement. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's good. Um, I played up front a lot a lot of times this season, so. Um, I want to be getting goals on him up front and um, yeah, it beats me previous League One record so so yeah I'm, I'm glad with how the season's gone personally but um, there's a lot to improve on for next season. So nine goals, a few assists as well uh, along the way? Yeah, yeah, I always, uh, I've always had a good record of assists um, throughout my time at Shrewsbury so yeah it was nice to get a few of them as well. And you mentioned Daniel Ludo did take his goal well. You seem to enjoy playing alongside each other. Yeah, um, like you said, he, he gives everything to the cause and uh, it was just nice for him to get a reward and get a, a, a well-taken goal. It was a great, great ball by uh, Norbs to put him through and then Udo took that away nice. Now we're at the end of the season. How do you reflect on what has been a, a challenging season, I'm sure, for, for everybody involved at times? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, <clears throat> obviously, I think we started not great, but I think we were unlucky in a few games. Um, and then the manager come in, and we got got a few um, a few great results to get us up up the table. Um, and then obviously, the manager uh, was sick, and he couldn't be here. And it, I think it was hard for everyone, including him. Um, obviously. Uh, and then, and then, yeah, we, it's it's pretty much fizzled out really the season. Uh, but we stayed up, which is a, a, a positive. Um, but yeah, I'm looking looking forward to next season now already. And how nice for you all to have the manager back for the for the last three matches. Yeah, yeah, br brilliant. Yeah, he's a, he's a massive influence on everyone, and and uh, I'm sure he. Well, I know, I know that he's as gutted as anyone that he couldn't. That he wasn't here for that time, and fortunately, he, um, he's better now. And, and I'm looking forward to working with him next season. Yeah. You're a big fan's favourite. You love playing in front of the fans. How's that been over the, the last eight or nine months? Not having them in apart from the four yeah. home league games of the season when yeah. the 2000 Tower fans were alive. Yeah, not not good to be honest with you. Not not good at all. Um, it's not even that my fans favourite. I just like playing, even if it's away. Crowd getting on your back and stuff. I've, I'm just one of them who, um, who seems to get. I'm not saying I wasn't up for it this season. Obviously, I've done, I've done okay. I've done done quite well. But um, yeah, it's just, it's just been hard at times without a crowd. It was, it was great to have them in them, <coughs> them few times that we did. But uh, that's another thing I'm looking forward to next season. Yeah. We've asked you a couple of times, I know, in recent weeks about your future with your contract. Your, your current contract seems to, seem to expire. Is there any update, Sean? Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll be here next season, yeah. I'll be here next season. In terms of the, the club, I'm sure I'll announce it, but it's, yeah, I'll be here next season. Talk, talks have happened already then? Are you you're close to getting it all sorted? <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, it's, I'll be here next season. How do you feel about that? Well, we'll be yeah, in the good. seventh season this year. Oh dear, so. yeah, yeah, I'm del delighted, yeah, I'll be here. Because you sum up what this <coughs> club means to you, Shoes Patel, because you've been in here for, for so long now, played over 200 matches, scored lots of goals for the club. Yeah, yeah, I, lo I love it, everyone knows that. Um, 
I think my performances can uh, show that as well. And, and um, I'm looking for a lot. I wanted to stay in, and I'm looking forward to next season. Well done on the uh, the current season. Great to speak to you as always. Thanks, Sean. Thanks, you. Cheers.